winter's on the way and that's why I thought it was a good idea to treat your skin as well as your hair because skin tends to get a little bit drier in the winter so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to be cleaning your face first putting on a nice mask on your face um, what I'm also going to do is then rinse it off with warm water apply all kinds of lotions also to specific areas of your face like your eyebrows um, and then I'm going using a cleaner cleanser um, for your skin I'm making it a little bit wet it's called and just making sure there's no impurities so that your skin is like a black canvas to work be completely clean it has to be very nice so all the ingredients in the products that I'll use will seep right into your skin which is very important alright just making sure that I get every spot um, voila I should be fine maybe a little bit here should be fine your skin wasn't like dirty to start with and I mean skin can always do well with a little loving and I'm more than happy to do this for you so I'm having this mask by 7 Heaven. it's with chocolate mud mask um, it has a lot of antioxidants just going to rub this on your skin as I'm rubbing this in um, when I'm done massaging it it actually immediately can be rinsed off so it doesn't have to sit on your skin if you know what I mean you don't have to sit for 15 minutes and it looks really like like chocolate okay I'm gonna get a bit at a time and rub this all over your skin under your eye I really love your skin structure well your bone structure Here on your skin, getting a little bit more, and along the bottom, right here, just above your lips, and under it. I know you have to avoid the areas of like lips the under eye area because that's like too sensitive and thin skin it's just not good to use a mask on that and here 
It doesn't really have to be a lot, you know. With this product, a little bit goes a long way. Oh, my foot is cramping up a little bit. <laughs> Here, like this. I know. everywhere and it's massaged in deeply also have some special cream for your eyebrows later for all the areas of your face to really prepare your skin this isn't just for we this is really is good for all seasons, okay? All in throughout the year. Alright, I think this is enough. Just going to rinse my hands. I'm going to pick this dry cloth and um putting it in hot water because this will this will open up your pores and okay. treatment the moisturizers which I'm going to use I'm not gonna rinse it out
so much colder a rain and gloomy weather but um, I'm gonna miss the summer, I'm gonna miss the sun being able to walk outside in shorts and seeing the green and the flowers and stuff okay perfect going to be placing that aside here just take a little look see first and um, actually I'm going to do the moisturizer first on your face hold on okay so um, what I have is some aloe vera gel this is really pure one one of the best there is really good for your skin and I'm going to put it all over a little bit goes a long way a little bit goes a long way yeah you can put it even With the mask it's different but this is just really good for your skin and it was good that your skin was a little bit damp it like helps it rub out really well Massage that into your skin. Just like this. Perfect. 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 Really nice. Okay. Just gonna wipe my hands because I'm going to be doing your eyebrows now. Lots of people neglect this, but it is also important. Okay. I'm gonna use this little comb to comb your eyebrows out. First, to remove any flakes. Any flakes that might be there. of a little bit of an exfoliation and the other one extract that I'm going to be using putting on there side 
use my brush to comb it again. Just combing it through so it really goes through the entire area here as well. of this Getting rid of all the residue. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Because I know you. I think you just deserve this. stronger and it protects it against the elements sort of like sort of like um, a heat protectant spray but then against cold and dry air and I use this myself and it's really good it's something that's also kind of anti-frizz but it won't make your hair like to do the other side here yeah I have to put my hair up in the winter like, like a big braid like this
It just when I go outside in the winter, it can be sometimes a little bit poofy or fluffy, but what helps a lot is coconut oil. <laughs> it's amazing. Just take a little bit into the palms of your hand and you do this. And then you put it all over your hair. Makes it really nice and soft. Yeah. I do that all the time. It's really good for my hair since if you have wavy or curly hair, it's perfect for that since it tends to get a little bit more, you know, frizzy and all those things. So it's really perfect. My tip for you, but today I'm not gonna use olive oil. Um, coconut oil. And you don't have to use the best quality organic. It really makes no difference for the hair. You can just use what you want. Even the cheapest brand. really well. And spray it on your hair, okay? I'm just bringing it all in the front so I don't have to go to your back. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells also like coconut. I do this all the time with myself. I do this all the time with myself. Go 
combing it out last time. It already frizzes way less when I comb in it. Yeah, it's like immediate effect. I'm sure I can give you some of this to take home. I'll let you know where you can buy it also. a form of relaxation gently your face gets all nice this nice glow nice color because it improves the blood flow in the skin it's also good if you do this yourself every day you can also do it here along your eyes kind of Oops. Circulation. Mm -hmm. Gently here and here. Here. I think that's done. You're all set for the winter. And I'm willing to do this. I want to do this more if you are willing to be my test subject. Alright, I'll see you next time. Finish off. I'm just going to be massaging.